Tuesday, August the 25th, and uh, today uh, we are in Psalm 51. And Psalm 51 is one of the half dozen psalms or so that we probably know uh, very well, uh, often alluded to. Uh, the background, of course, uh, is David's uh, terrible, terrible sin uh, with Bathsheba, uh, his sin of adultery and his complicity in an act of judicial murder uh, in having Bathsheba's husband uh, placed in the forefront of the battle to ensure uh, that he would be um, killed. Uh, a child, of course, was born of this union that died uh, at childbirth, and there's a very touching uh, moment when David uh, is at the burial of his um, illegitimate son. And the question, I suppose, uh, that we ask is how in the world is it possible for someone of David's caliber, uh, the king of Israel, uh, the composer of so many of the Psalms, uh, this extraordinary man who had a, just a, an extraordinary uh, experience of uh, God and God's forgiveness and God's grace, how could he possibly have sinned in such a uh, a public and tragic manner and the answer of course lies within the psalm uh, as David reflects again and again on uh, indwelling sin uh, the remnants of sin that still remain within our hearts that unless we daily mortify and put to death can can rise uh, up and uh, cause us to fall in catastrophic ways. Read the psalm and listen to what the consequences of this sin was for David. And several times in the course of the psalm, he cries out uh, in pain that his joy, uh, his joy in the Lord, his joy of what it means to be a believer in covenant fellowship with God has gone. And he's asking God to for forgiveness, but he's also asking God to restore to him the joy uh, of the Lord. Uh, Psalm 51 is one of the seven so-called penitential psalms, and we often use uh, part of this psalm in our confession of sin uh, in our morning liturgies on Sunday mornings. Uh, a psalm of, gr of great sobriety, uh, a psalm that calls us to keep close accounts with God, uh, lest we also sin, lest we also uh, mimic uh, what David did. Well, uh, reflect on this psalm today and run as fast as you can into the arms of the Lord. The Lord bless you. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.